Amelia, show me what Nico's doing. She does have a big bad foot, doesn't she? Nico, you come in. Come on, Nix. Nico, come on. Good girl, princess. Good girl. Good girl, Nico. What happened, Amelia? Can you tell everybody what happened to Nico's foot? She doesn't have to go all the way to the scooter. Let's let Nico sit on the grass, okay? And she can watch us. Nico, come on. Come on, Nico. Come sit on the grass. Come on, Nico. Good girl. She's going to sit here next to me. You can go get your scooter and we'll watch you. Over there. So anyway, guys, we were out for a walk. It wasn't even a long walk. It was actually a short walk in a park, a national park. Um by a lake S similar story to what happened with teddy but we were eating ice cream we'd already finished the walk and we were just sitting under a park bench eating ice cream and nico had her ice cream as well um while mia was playing in a little kiddie park and then when nico got up from the table when we went to go back to the car she had this massive limp there was no signs of like she walked on the walk completely normally the walk was fine it wasn't a strenuous walk or anything. Um, I have no idea what she's done to her foot, but she's not bearing weight on it. And this one. Um, and it's been 24 hours now. But she's eating, she's completely normal in herself, she's hopping around all happy. Her behaviour hasn't changed. There was no sign of trauma. There was no big yelp or... There's not been anything. I've touched the area and it does feel a little bit swollen just around here, like where the, jo the joint is. So I don't know if she sprained it when she got up from the picnic bench or, I'm not sure, but I'm giving it 24 hours and I have given her some of Phil's arthritis medication because it's a pain receptor blocker. So um, I've given her some of that just because I don't want her to feel any, like, but I can touch it, I can do whatever I want to it and she's not, I can't work out exactly what's happened um, and then we're hoping it's Sunday today so we're hoping to get into the vets tomorrow when they're open we could go to an emergency vet so that is an option it's just it's a two hour drive away from where we live because we're quite remote now um, and I don't know if it like I really don't know if it warrants it because it doesn't other than the fact that she's not bearing weight on it it doesn't seem to bother her and then when we went to the vets with Teddy they said it's very normal for a dog to not put the paw down for a couple of days and then he just suddenly put it down again when he had the um but he had a torn paw pad. Nico doesn't have anything like that. I feel like hers more something to do with a joint. I just don't know what. Um so yeah, we could go to an emergency vet. I'm choosing not to, I don't know if it's needed. And um we'll be at the vets tomorrow with her to get her checked over, the normal vet. <gasps> oh my goodness, your dad's home. He's back. Wait there, Nico. Oh, no, she's going. She's... Nico, you don't need to go. You can just rest. Come in, Nix. Come sit down. He'll come to you. Come on, Nico. Do you see what I mean by, like, she's behaving normally despite oh. that? Nico. Oh. Oh. Nick, do you want to come sit down? Uh -uh. No, Nico. Oh, God. She just better wait to climb up into the van. Come on, Nick. Come sit with me. Come on. Uh, it's getting better now. It's Guessing great. so. She's definitely walking around. Good girl. Good girl, girl, Nico. Good girl. Slowly. Good girl, Nico. Good girl. Good girl. You sit and rest. <laughs> what then? What's that? What's what? You go show me what you're pointing at. What are you looking at? 
It's the man out there. It's the man. Right, Nico, show me how you can walk now. How are you doing? Better? That's a bee. What are you looking at me like that for? Starting to feel reassured that we didn't need to go to the emergency there. Oh, me, uh, Nico, show Grandma. Nico, come here. Come on, Nico. Come on, Nico. Yeah.